feel it. I feel it. I feel the presence, the power. I feel God moving. You've been holding your destiny back and your purpose has not been realized because you've had the wrong attitude. Jesus was attracted to you because he saw his purpose that he put in your life. Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. Praise God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it is. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I have made it a commitment, uh, a commitment to my spirit, a commitment to my mind, a commitment to my soul that I will bless the Lord. Yes, not just in the day of plenty, but I will bless the Lord all the time. David said that once I will bless the Lord at all time and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. When we face circumstances in our lives, we do not lose the praise of God. The praise of God continues to reflect upon the things that God has done, that you know who God is. You never lose that. Regardless, a believer never loses that. Whatever he or she goes through or going through, you continue to believe and to know that God is. Is. Well, it's another Tuesday morning here at this particular time. If you're not getting a rebroadcast, but we are live in the studios of WHPR TV 33 here in the beautiful city of Highland Park, Detroit, and surrounding areas. So wherever you have, you are tuning us in. I know that we are satelliting all over the place, but I thank God for you. And uh, as we open up our prayer, uh, our lines today, I want to hear from someone. I want someone to call and, and let us know that we are not just beating the air. This is Pastor Robert Garner, and the truth will make you free uh, ministry. And this ministry is coming to you uh, again live in the studios, but direct from the Word of Truth Church. We're located at 7107 Rivard Avenue, Warren, Michigan. And those of you who would like to get in contact with us, you can either write Pastor Garner or you can go to our Facebook page right now and follow us on this telecast. You can, uh, well, this, you can go to R.J. Watkin and uh, uh, Facebook page. The Truth Would Make You Free page, uh, Facebook page. And uh, those of you that get in Comcast cable, you there we are, I believe it's channel 90. You can get us there. And then other places. But I want you to know today that God is, regardless of the circumstances that you're facing right now, God is. Uh, so this morning, we're going to be talking um, at random and, you know, uh, skipping from here to there, but hopefully that will give you uh, an encouragement. Praise God, an encouragement. I, I, I was just studying yesterday in Judges. Um, and the Bible, uh, ooh, I, I don't recall, but anyway, it's, uh, I think it's chapter seven and verse 11. I'm not sure. I have to get my Bible, but God was telling Gideon, you know, after they, God had reduced his army size and, uh, he was, uh, had to go down with just 300 men, praise God. Amen. And, the, the fact is that uh, someone had a dream, 
and there was a loaf of bread that, that rolled down in the camp. And it was a sign that God saying that I am with you. God will give you a sign. But the scripture that I was taught, referring to, God said, I will strengthen your hand. I will strengthen you in the process, in the midst, in what you're going through. I'm going to strengthen you. And that's what I feel about God today. And God is saying to you that I will strengthen you. Amen. When you are in the battle, when you are faced with decisions, and you have certain things that you just can't seem to get through or get beyond and get over. I hear God saying that I will strengthen you. Amen. Praise God. So uh, I, I want you to uh, just keep us here for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. And uh, we're going to be also, I want to talk, focus on the, the hope of your uh, uh, the, the God in you, the hope of your glory, the God in you, the hope of your glory. I know that there's so much going on in the world today. Uh, the coronavirus is threatening lives and taking lives and bringing about fears and uh, lots of things. And, you know, certain people were saying that it's God doing this and God doing that. But I, I have a reservation on that. Uh, and I don't necessarily believe that God go around killing folks. Amen. I just don't believe that. I don't believe that God kills folks and destroys folks in that manner. Amen. God has, the, we're living in the day of the Holy Spirit. We're living in the day of the uh, Word of God, where it's that God speaks to us. Yes, there are challenges in the world, and there's so much going on, and God will release his wrath upon us when we fail to obey us. He will close up heaven, so to speak, as he did Israel and Judah in their sinful state. But God always bring forth that deliverance. And I believe that since we have Jesus Christ, there's no need for God to kill folks. I don't believe that it's reason for God. We have him. He came that we should be saved and we delivered. And men and women are living in their sins, whether we have coronavirus or we have uh, 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 something else. I think when the first this HIV and AIDS epidemic hit you know they were saying that it was God then there's something else hit it was God we always go to the negative of God but God is love amen and God yes he loves us and uh, I just believe that before we attribute certain things to God let's just make sure that we're hearing from God it's, it, it might sound good in your ear or sound religiously correct Amen. I was teasing a friend of mine the other day. I said, now listen, I'm coming to hear you preach. And I'm not coming to hear you uh, uh, be uh, theologically correct. I want you to preach a relevant message. I said, you know, sometimes we can try to be so theological correct and we don't bless the people. People have challenges in their lives. People want to know that the God of this universe is there now to help them. And sometimes we're trying to be theologically correct and we're missing people and they come in and they go out the same way. So uh, and we want to talk about this this morning. And as you know, for the last couple of broadcasts, we have talked about miracle living and what we're faced with today. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not threatening to the believer. Because the believer understand, the Bible said in Ephesians, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. There's a spiritual wickedness. There's a spiritual evil. Uh, Satan has released every army that he has because he knows better than we that we're living in the last day of the last age. This age is coming to a climax, and we have to realize that. That if there's anything we are experiencing is a fulfillment. Praise God. Amen. I felt that. I, I, I said most anything we are facing and experiencing a fulfillment because the Bible tells us in the last days what will happen. He tells us about perilous times. He tells us about things getting uh, worse than getting better. 
He talks about that. So it's not God aiming at you to try to destroy you, but it's just a fulfillment. So the thing for what we need to do and understand is the Bible is going to be fulfilled. Uh, what God spoke will come to pass. He said, I will not, not one, just not one uh, letter of what I have spoken will not come past. God is a God of promise. So I believe that we're living in the day of fulfillment. Amen. I believe that. Uh, and so when we see various crises and we see uh, wars and rumors of wars, when we see uh, families at discord with each other, tearing each other to parrot, when we look at all of the violence and stuff that is, that is going on in the world, there's a fulfillment that is taking place uh, that God has prophesied and spoken to us through the word of God. So my sisters and brothers, I want you to just keep on holding on and keep on trusting, keep on believing the God of our salvation, that God is real, and know that you're living miraculously. Miracle living. Amen. Miracle living. I'm living under the power of God. So we're going to talk about the God the, 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 who is not only, you know, many times we say God, the spirit of God is in me. Okay, it's more than the spirit of God is in you. God himself is is in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. God in me, the hope of glory. Uh, yeah, it's easy for us. To say, well, the spirit of God is in me. Listen, when you understand that it's the power of God, which is his spirit and God himself, uh, you'll back away from some things. Know ye not that your body is the temple. It's the temple of God. And when you realize that it's God that lives in you, and through him you live, move, and have your being, uh, Colossians 1 and 27 tells us, amen, that he is the hope of our glory. So it's easy to say the spirit is in me, uh, but it's God that is in you. So I believe that we back off. And I, I, I want to sort of demonstrate this again through Daniel's, uh, Daniel, the third chapter, I want to demonstrate that God in you and, and sort of give you a practical view of how that really worked. If you recall that when they threw Daniel and uh, uh, threw the boys, rather the three uh, Hebrew boys into the fiery furnace, uh, it, it, the king jumped up and said, didn't I see, didn't we throw three? But who is this fourth one? God in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. He didn't just come from somewhere. He was there all the time. The God in you becomes uh, 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 the, the display that the world needs to see. So these boys had resigned and made a commitment that they would not change their position on their God because of the threats that was made upon their lives. God in me. So when they faced their challenges and gotten thrown into the fire furnace, the God in me, he himself was revealed. And I believe that God is getting ready to do that for someone to, today as you uh, listen to this broadcast. Listen, my sisters and brothers, this is Pastor Robert Garner. The truth will make you free. And again, we're live here in the studios of TV 33 WHPR. And uh, yes, we are praying for the world. We're praying for peace. And we're going to pray for that in just a few minutes. Uh, this coronavirus taking people lives. So we want to pray for safety. We want to pray for accuracy. Oh, my God, I felt that accuracy. You can hear so much. Amen. And, and it's not accurate. But we want what's coming out of the White House to be accurate because that's going to be our uh, 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 trust factor that what the president and his commissioners are saying, the vice president, uh, what they are saying and how the researches are going on, what the governor is saying and what the local people are saying that are very involved, the medical profession is saying, amen. We want to have faith and confidence in them. So we're going to pray for accuracy today, amen, that the things that we're hearing and the things that we are told to do will work, amen. And 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 we're going to be we're going to be talking about that today, uh, uh, and that 
It, that is always something to come that, that seems to be bigger than the issue that we are currently faced with. There's an election that is going on. There's a presidential election that's going on here in our states, uh, in America here. We're electing uh, 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 officers that, that's going to serve us uh, in the various chambers of the White House, inclusive of the president. We must not lose hope or lose faith or lose, amen, uh, what we're supposed to do to scare you away from the polls. Uh, today is uh, a Super Tuesday, so don't allow this coronavirus to keep you away from the polls that, uh, as we get ready to vote here in Michigan next week. Let's don't allow those things to keep us away from the polls so that we will not exercise the responsibility that we have as citizens. Amen. And you'll regret it later. Praise God. So listen, I'm going into, I do have my friend and my uh, uh, Cove uh, uh, with me this morning and uh, I, I, it's just always good when I walk into the studio and uh, Sister Renee lets us in I'm happy for that and then Brother Sean shows up I'm happy for that uh, but I'm happier amen praise God when I look and I see Minister Rosetta Archer God bless you this morning how are you tell me what's going on <laughs> yes, God yes. Is just good. And I'm telling you, the word of the Lord that you brought to us a few weeks ago, Miracle Living. Yes. And so I am doing all I can uh -huh. to stay under the spot where the glory is coming out. I am going to have Miracle Living in every area of my life. I'm not trying to get it. I'm not trying to go find it. I'm walking in it right now because, like you said, it's already in me. I've got that hope of glory on the inside yes, of me. God yes. is inside of me. Yes, Amen. yes, I'm yes. Trying to walk it out as best I can. So I'm yes. just so blessed and excited as always to be here. Amen. Amen. Well, that's good. So how was your weekend? It how was? Good. Amen. It What's was good. Uh, very, pro very productive. And uh, it was short, like they all are. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Did you worship on Sunday? I did. All right. I did. did, did and did. I tried my best to not leave anything on the table. Uh -huh. I gave him everything <laughs> I had with my praise and my worship because I've, he deserves it. That's Amen. We sung that song. Uh, he, you deserve it. Amen. Yes, we yes, don't yes. Get, people don't always yes. get what they deserve, but I make it my business. God deserves the glory, the honor, and the praise, and I make it my business. Listen, not one rock is going to cry out on my behalf. Amen. Said, if you don't praise him, the rock is going to cry out. So no rock is going to cry out for me. I'm going to bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. I'm going to bless his holy name because he's good, and he's so good to me. Amen. Amen. Got me stirred up this morning. My <laughs> goodness, glory to God. Even like with uh, the coronavirus even, and all even, these other things even, out, even. Uh, God is yet God. Yes. Amen. And He keeps reminding us. Listen, yes. I am yes. God. Glory yes. To God. He yes. Said, a yes. A thousand may fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right, but it will not come near me. Yes. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And if I'm abiding in God, if I'm covered by God, there mm -hmm. is not one plague, no sickness or disease get, that can attach itself to my body. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I just thank God for that. I am covered. I'm not going to succumb or come under the power of anything that's not like God. No sickness, no disease, no plague, no flu, no nothing. Amen. I dwell in that secret place. And if I got a barrier, if I got a force field around me with the body and the, and the blood of Jesus, uh -huh. nothing can penetrate that. Amen. So I'm not going to be in fear. Amen. I'm going to continue to walk out the plan and the places that God has called me to walk. And into. that's what we call miracle living. Yes, yes. That's is. miracle living yes, right there. Amen. Now, notwithstanding mm -hmm. that these things are real. Yes. Uh, yes. The coronavirus is real. Yes. Flu is real. Yes. All these other issues out here, yes. diseases and infections, they are real. Yes. However, mm -hmm. amen, our confession yes. and profession amen. that we hold on to yes, is that God yes. in me is in the, me. Hope the hope of my glory and he protects Ooh, me. Yes, he does. Amen. amen. Even if I'm challenged with us. Yes. And, and, and we just, just, just think in terms of this right now, mm -hmm. that the virus is going around. 
and they are not sure where it's coming from. They don't know where it is. Yes. Uh, several people are being affected. They don't know how they got it mm -hmm. and et cetera. So what did that tell you? Mm. It's out here. Yes. Amen. Uh, you know, we may clap our hand and say, oh, it's not in Michigan yet, but it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it might not be here yet, yes. but it is. Yes. What is happening? God me. in you. Hallelujah. The hope of glory hope is of glory. pushing it back. Amen. A Amen. And then even if you are affected by Jesus. it, you got Hallelujah. to hold to your faith Amen. to believe That's that it. the God in me yes. is stronger. That's it. That's Amen. It. Praise glory God that God it. in me is is stronger yes, is. than anything else. We Amen. don't lose hope. We don't lose faith. Yes. Amen. Praise God uh, uh, about circumstances. So we don't downplay the situation. Yes. Glory to we God. just upplay God. That's what we do. <laughs> we upplay God. Amen. That's because right. the facts are true. Yes. The yes. coronavirus That's right. is in the land. But the truth is, we are healed by the blood of Jesus. And that you even said earlier, uh -huh. you know, people so, when they can't explain things, they, they, they blame God for everything. Yes. They can't yes. Explain. Yes. Like, listen, St. John 10, 10, it says the thief, the enemy, yes, the devil, yes. Satan, whatever you want to call him, he comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. Uh -huh. But Jesus made it clear. He said, but, and you, uh, you've taught us so well about what, but means yes. it's that transition. <laughs> it changes the focus. Yeah. And this is this, but I have, Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that life more abundantly. Yes. So anything yes. that yes. causes yes. death comes from the enemy. It comes from Satan. Anything that promotes life, it comes from God. So we cannot, and please don't attribute this virus to somehow being connected to God. He doesn't have evil to give. And, and, and you know, if we do that, yes. let's, uh, God is the supreme yes. of all. Yes, he is. So if we're going to attach evil to God, then where do we go? Where there's no hope. If we, if we denounce yes. our medical profession yes. as not being adequate, don't yes. know what they're doing, uh, they don't do this and yes. they don't do that, then where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? If, if, God can, if God is doing it, so he's not he can't yeah. help you and if medical science they they don't know what they're doing they can't help you where where, like where, where, where we gonna go <laughs> Absolutely. Glory to God. there's Hallelujah. nowhere to go Ooh, that's Jesus. why we have to hold on yes. to colossians 1 and 27 yes. now there was a, the scripture that i i was trying to allude yes. to when joshua did you find it uh yes J uh, was it josh what, what, judges what? judges mm -hmm. judges yes I, I want you to read that uh and then we i want to uh uh go back go to colossians 1 and 27 okay so that was Judges what? And Judges 7. <laughs> Judges 7. And uh, let's see. It really kind of started up at 9, but the, the uh, verse you were looking okay. for was 11. Okay, let's, let's look at verse 9. And I want to I show you something else yes. in here that we don't pull out when we talk about Gideon and 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 the, the and and the the number of men that they went and uh, that he had or yes. he was left with to fight the battle. Mm -hmm. I want to see something. So read that for me. Amen. You start at verse nine. Go right okay, here. Okay. So it said, and it came to pass, uh -huh. the Lord the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down into the host, for I have delivered it into thine hand. Uh -huh. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Fura thy servant down yes. to the host. Uh huh. And it. And thou shalt hear what they say. Yes. And afterwards shall thy hands be strengthened. Listen that. Listen to what he go said. down unto the host. Yes. Then when he down with Pura, his servant, out unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. Amen. Glory now what God. does the next verse say? Amen. And it says, And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay among in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. Uh, I, I, I want to, there's one, that's a scripture yes. that says that after Joshua uh, did, uh, Gideon did mm -hmm. what he did, yes. the Bible tells us he worshiped. He went to worship. Yes. And that's what I, I wanted to focus on that. Glory to God. Before Hallelujah battle you got to praise Ooh, God. Glory to he God. didn't just get those three hundred men. Yes. He didn't we, we weren't just reduced to three hundred men and 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 the loaf of bread yes. and went to battle. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells us Thank that he Jesus. worshiped. Hallelujah. Amen. Before he went to battle, he worshiped. He worshiped. Amen. Amen. You need to hear Thank from God. Jesus. Hallelujah. It is God who strategically <laughs> yes. fits you, you for Jesus. the battle. Hallelujah. You may 
get revelation. You may get an understanding. Hallelujah. You may get some wisdom. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But when you worship, Yes. There's something about worshiping God, God that prepares you for the next move. Yes. Amen. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. It, it, Jehoshaphat, they worship. Amen. Send Judah first. Yes. Glory to God. Let them praise. Let them give praise Thank unto God. You, Jesus. The God in us is the hope of it's glory. The hope of praise Lord. God. It, it's Amen. somewhere in that I'm text yes. uh, about he worshiped. Hallelujah. Amen. Find, go back up there where that bread that, that where that bread fell in the tent. Amen. You see, it's, and God. then somewhere in there, uh, just before Hallelujah. that, Amen. Amen. It talks about it. It's there. You can read it. We, 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 we'll get it uh, later on. Yes. But I wanted to make that point Hallelujah. that he worshiped. Yes. He did not go into his own strength, Hallelujah. even though there had been a revelation to him to let him Thank know you, that God had already prepared him for victory. Yes. What he did yes. was worship and mm -hmm. give praise to God in advance so you will know that it's not you. Yes, it is good. God. <laughs> it is God that strategically yes. fits us for the battle. Even when we turn to if we look at Ephesians, the six, Ephesians tells us that we wrestle not against flesh yes. and blood. But yes. look what he does. He strategically fits us for the battle. What does he do? Put on the whole armor yes. of God yes. that ye may be able to stand. Mm -hmm. Glory. That's being strategically yes. fit. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yeah, to God. You can pray. You can, you can do all what you do, but you want to hear from God because God from. wants yes. to tell you how to fight this battle. Yes. Even God. watch this now. When Jehoshaphat was faced with his situation, mm -hmm. The prophet spoke. Uh, the battle Hallelujah. is not yours. Yes. You don't have to fight in this battle. Thank you, Jesus. But what happened after that, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. is what's so important. Yes. Amen. The Bible lets us know. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise. Thank God for my wife. Look at verse 15. Okay. Amen. Thank wife. you. Thank you, honey. Thank amen. You. Praise God. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> my wife is in tune. Amen. How do I love you amen. this morning? Yes, Praise do. God. Verse 15 says amen. what? It says, and it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream yes. and the interpretation thereof yes. that he worshiped. He worshiped. Amen. That's what I want to let yes. you know. <laughs> Thank you, first lady. Glory. <laughs> but, but, but read verse 14. I think 13 and 14 will give you the, 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 the meaning of him worshiping. Go All ahead. Right, I'm going to go up to 13. Uh -huh. And when Gideon was come, yes. behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow yes. and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host. Uh. Dominion. God is going to give yes. you a sign. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want you to know this more. Yes. Oh, I feel this, Ooh, minister. Amen. Yes. God is going to give you a sign Hallelujah. in your struggle. Yes. You that are struggling, you that are going through, yes. you that are faced with challenges and difficulties in your life, mm -hmm. God is going to give Ooh. you a sign. Yes. Amen. You, a victory. Yes. But the problem is you got Hallelujah. to be listening yes. and hearing yes. Yes. from God. Amen. I'm Glory waiting on God. God to give me a sign. I, I'm no longer listening to the pronosticators and, and I'm not getting yes. my palm read. I'm not getting going to the soothsayers. I'm not listening. God's yes. sign. Yes. So yes. a yes. loaf of bread mm -hmm. tumbled mm -hmm. down through the tent. Yes. Uh huh. Into the host of Midian. Yes. And came into the tent and smote it that yes. it fell and overturned it yes. that the tent lay along. So that's meant that over the bread the overturned bread. the tent. <laughs> <laughs> which gave them a sign yes. that this is what God is getting that's ready so to good. do with your yes. enemies. Oh, oh, my God. Amen. Let me, right let me pause right that's here. Good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> this is what God is getting ready to do with yes. your enemies. Amen. To overturn God. them. Hallelujah. He's going to give you a sign. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The battle is not yours. Yes. The struggle is not yours alone. Glory to God. God will give to <laughs> you a sign. Yes. Uh huh. Read Hallelujah. on. Yes. Amen. In verse 15. Yes. And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof that he worshipped. See, that's, that's the part we missed. Yes. I've, I, I preached this sermon. I've heard it preached sermon. And we talked about the lapping of the dog. And yes. we talk about, Hallelujah. amen, we he do. got 300 Hallelujah. men. Even if we just leave it right there. My Lord. 300 men. Yes. It leaves a little gap mm. to yes. say that Gideon Hallelujah. did it himself. That he did it in 
<laughs> he did it on his strength. But he didn't. He didn't. Oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. That's and good. we say that Gideon went with 300 men. Yeah. We leave a little crack. Mm. They say, oh, okay, Gideon went down there. Right. And, oh, great Look man of valor. Yes. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. <laughs> but this man worshiped. He worshiped. The God of his salvation. He worshiped. He worshiped. He the worshiped. God in him. Yes. All right, Hallelujah. read that. Amen. And then we'll say, I, I, I thank God That's that good. I, I wanted you. to bring that out. Praise yes. God. Mm -hmm. Amen. It was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof that he worshiped. Yes. And he returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, <laughs> for the Lord has delivered into <laughs> your hand the host of Midian. Glory yes, God. yes, Hallelujah. yes. And, and watch this now. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying let, I'm Glory trying to God. move away from this. Mm, this when good. I said earlier, minister, yes. about Hallelujah. when we worship God, yes. God strategically tells so strategic. us how to fight the battle. He's so strategic. Yes. Gideon Hallelujah. got his strategic yes. planning from Hallelujah. God after he worshiped. That's where the strategy came from. That's where it came yes. from. That's where it came Amen. Y'all take put put Ooh. the lamp in one hand yes. and the candle in saying. the other one. Yes. Amen. Glory <laughs> to God. And we're going to appear like yes. it's, it's a whole bunch of us, yes. but it's only 300. It's only 300. He got that God. after mm -hmm. he worshiped. Yes, when God revealed to him yes. and his spirit was open to God, when his spirit was resigned mm -hmm. to what God mm -hmm. says you, and his faith in God, God strategically Ooh, strategized God. this battle Hallelujah. and Gideon won it with 300 men. Amen. Let's just, since we talk about miracle living, amen, <laughs> yes, can I, we just go a little further? All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So really, and even the next, uh, you know, sometimes the Bible divides up. You, you, you see, you act. Like Bible. you acting like the members of the church, you get ready to close your sermon, come on, come and they on, got man. happy. Come preach, on, preacher, those <laughs> guys. <laughs> Amen. And so this says miraculous victory. Yes, God. yes. And we're talking about miracle living. Yes. Glory to God. So the next verses are talking about Gideon's miraculous victory. Yes. Verse yes. sixteen. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies that came from the strategy. Glory to God. From him worshiping God. And yes. Hearing. Amen. And he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pincher pictures and lamps within the pictures and he uh -huh. said unto them look on me glory to god and oh my god and do likewise <laughs> hallelujah thank you lord <laughs> <laughs> Behold, hallelujah. When wow. I come up to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. Verse 18. Yes. When I blow with a trumpet, glory to God, I and all that are with, with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of the camp and say the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Yes, to God. yes, hallelujah. yes. And when they did that, hallelujah. And when they Jesus, did that, hallelujah. glory to God. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to have to stop wow. Wow, 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 wow. Glory to God. He gave them the strategy. He glory gave them the strategy. And they did exactly what God said. And yes, had yes, a miraculous yes, victory. Glory to God. Yes, yes. And if we follow the strategies that God has already set uh, in his word and that he gives us, we'll have miracle living. Yes, all we the will. Days of yes, our we lives. will. Glory to God. Amen. Ooh, and, yes. and this is a good point How to do. encourage you. Yes. Uh, the viewers, hallelujah. the listeners. Amen. If you're not in a Bible believing yes, church, hallelujah. find one now find one. and get in it. Yes. Let hallelujah. that man, a woman of God, yes. who operates under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. lay hands upon you, you and Jesus. anoint you yes. for what's going on for in the world today. today. Amen. To that the power of God yes. will rest upon you. Amen. And you will not walk around here in fear. Amen. 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 Praise good. God. I believe Ooh, in the you, covering yes. of the power Hallelujah. of God. Amen. The Bible said these signs these shall signs. follow them that these believe. Signs. Signs. And he says in Jeremiah Hallelujah. 1, and, I think it's 1 and 3. The scriptures are coming to me. To uh, but he said, I will give you pastors after, after mine own heart. heart. We talk about no, the compassion the of God. God. Yes. So my sisters and brother, Hallelujah. you need this that yes. in this day and time mm -hmm. for your recovery. Yes. Even if we're not talking about the coronavirus, right. we're right. talking about other issues and things that are going on in your life. Yes. You need, you need to be in Amen. a Bible-believing yes. church. If Glory you can't find one, come to the word of truth. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. At 7107 yes. Rivard Avenue here in Warren, Michigan. Amen. Listen, my sisters and brothers, I believe Thank in miraculous Jesus. living. Amen. I believe in the power yes. of God. Hallelujah. 
I believe that you can live. Yes. And now this is where I'm, I'm going to mess up somebody's religion. Uh -oh. I believe that <laughs> you can live a sin-free wow. life. Amen. 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 Which means God. that Hallelujah. you don't have to carry sin right. around with you. You don't practice sin. You, you no longer practice Jesus. sin because Glory the Bible says you can't. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. But if Thank you, you get around somebody, this is like someone telling you, mm -hmm. well, you'll never get rid of the cold. Wow. You'll never get rid. Oh, you got to have a cold. Mm -hmm. Or you'll never get rid of that cancer. You, you don't need to something. be there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to be anywhere to someone telling you right. that you got to sin. Are you going to do something wrong? Yes. You got So you're going to prone your living Jesus. and your life not to perfection. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's Hallelujah. Good. Good. But you're going to prone your life yes. to stumbling. Glory Amen. Getting up and getting down. Wow. Amen. When Jude says that mm -hmm. now unto him yes. who is able yes, to keep able. you from keep falling you from and falling. present you faultless. Yes. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. before. Amen. God himself. Amen. Amen. Who is the hope of glory. Ooh, yes. Listen, my sisters and brother, Hallelujah. this is your time. Amen. Allow this thing, allow those mm -hmm. things to drive you to Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank it you, doesn't Jesus. have to be that. Hallelujah. But if that's what it takes, yes. then do it. Uh, 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 David said in Psalm 51, Lord, wash me with hyssop. Yes. Whatever it takes, God, yes. I don't want to lose your Holy yes. Spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes, I want you Hallelujah. to operate in my, my life. To break. Get in your church yes. that Hallelujah. preaches and teaches, amen, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, the principles of God, the, characters of, the character yes. of God. Hallelujah. Paul said in Romans 1 and 7, 16, mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed I'm of not the gospel, ashamed. for it ashamed. is the power of yes. God unto salvation Hallelujah. to everyone that believeth. Hallelujah. Listen, there's a challenge going out to you right now yes, that if you are not in a Bible believing church, hallelujah. if you are not in a church at all, hallelujah. my sisters and brothers, I'm encouraging you yes. today to be encouraged by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah. and the anointing of God that has been released over these airways Praise right God. now. God, God can bring you to a yes. place where you can live mm -hmm. in a, a, a miracle yes. every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Every day miracle living Hallelujah. is living under mm -hmm. the power and the authority yes. of God. Amen. If I could say that, yes, go ahead. Well with that because, and if you can just elaborate on it just a little, because uh -huh. so many people are taught you have to sin, you yes. have to fall, you have to miss it. Amen. But I want to read Second Peter uh uh, chapter 1 and then verse 10. Yes. And it says, well, for, and we want to encourage you, and we want to welcome also those of us that, those of you that are watching from the Virgin Islands. We're so excited about yes. that. Yes. Amen. All my Glory friends out there. Yes. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But uh, so we've already, we already know that you don't just start with a verse in the middle. Go yes. back, read the whole chapter. Yes. Read yes. Before, yes. Read after yes. So that you can keep things in contact. That's why things, you know, happen and doctrines are made that aren't, shouldn't be out there because people are taking the word of God out of contact. Context. So you got to put it all together. So please go back and read. Anyway, uh -huh. verse 10 says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Yes. For if you shall do these things, you shall never fall. Praise Amen. God. So Amen. We can get to that place, just like the scripture says, we don't have to stumble. We don't have to fall. We can actually walk out this miraculous life and living without sin like they try to say yes. we have to sin yeah. we have no choice amen if, yes. we, if we're still sinners glory to god then why did jesus shed his blood why did he if shed we're it in the same place we were in before he died what was the point yes and he came to take away our sin glory yes god, so glad yes about it so that yes. we could have miraculous living yes glory to god. yes no yes glory that's to god. right amen. and that's what god wants you to understand amen. Glory god, to god wants you to know Thank that you, his Jesus. death, burial, and yes. resurrection, Hallelujah. amen, mm. safeguards you from God. living yes. a sin-filled yes. life. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. His death, burial, and resurrection. That's good. Amen. That's Guarantees good. you yes. that you do not have to live Hallelujah. a sin-filled life. And yes. if you should sin. Yes. 
You know, if something should happen, you make a wrong choice, a wrong decision. Mm -hmm. He's telling you that you have an advocate, Jesus Christ the righteous, and you will confess confess us. All you have to say, I did it. First John 1, 9. That's right. All you have to say, I did it. it. Own up to it. And that's why I say you can live free of yes, sin hallelujah. just by confessing yes. the wrong that God. you do. Yes, sir. You can't let it stack up. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> if you let it stack up, <laughs> then you can't live. A, you're right. Hallelujah. You're not. You're not living a sin free life. If God. you're going to let it, you know, My that's why God. I said you need to be in a Bible believing that's church right. so that can teach yes. you the righteousness of yes. God. Yes. That when you sin, you know, you sin and yes. all you have to do is fess up. Wow. Amen. Amen. God, I did it. You know, I I, I did it. That's you know, good. and God cleanses us. Yes. Amen. And restores he us restores back. Us. Listen, my us. sisters, and brothers, yes. this is Pastor Robert Garner Hallelujah. with the truth will make you free along with Minister Rosetta Archer. Yes. And we're just trying to teach you yes. and share with you the truth of God Hallelujah. in its uh, real time. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, if you are there, and I, I would love to hear from you. Yes. Our, our lines are open. If you would like to give us a call, you can yes. do so at 313-365-7327 or 313-365-7379. Yes. Let me just repeat this. I, I would love to hear from yes, you. I know, I know you're out there mm-hmm. and you're viewing and, yes. and, and certainly... Uh, we just want to give a special shout out to our Virgin Island. Yeah, yes. we, we, we're in the Virgin Island this morning. Woo. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And certainly, you know, one day we're going to slip up on you in the, per, in, in, in the person. Yes. Yeah, Amen. in the flesh. Oh, <laughs> Amen. So but in the meantime, those yes. of you that are watching, those of you that are listening to us, mm-hmm. and you like to give us a call, and maybe there's something you would like to say or add to the conversation. Yes. Maybe you have a question. Mm-hmm about miracle living, yes. about living Glory a sin-free uh, uh, life. Glory Amen. Give us a call at Hallelujah. 365-7327. Again, Jesus. that's 313-365-7327 or 313-365-7379. Give us a call. I want, I, I want to hear from you. Now, we're going to sort of move on. Uh, I want uh, Daniels. I want yes. minister, if she would get for me Daniels, the uh well first of all let's read colossians 1 and 27 uh we talk about uh, the god amen uh the spirit of god is in me yes that's good Mm -hmm. and he should be but god himself god is not void of his spirit yes amen god is not somewhere and his spirit is somewhere else as a believer Once we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and we go on to make him Lord of our lives, that's exactly what it means. He is in me. He's living in me. me. He's walking up and down in me. Praise God. Hallelujah. So so, uh, Colossians 1 and 27 uh, states. Amen. It says, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. Now, that's, and that tells us, right, that God wants everyone. Everyone. Uh, you know, Amen. sometimes people can teach that this ain't for you. Right. That's right. not for you. It's for a select group of people. You can't get it. Yes. You've sinned too much. My You've done so God. much wrong. Yes. You, 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 that, that, that you, so this is where the Gentiles were, but God was letting them know that the Gentiles would be exposed to this gospel, to to this Christ and that God, that they will be exposed to them, Mm -hmm. will live in them just like he would anyone else. Praise God. God. Amen. So to the Gentiles. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. And which is Christ in you. Listen to that. (laughs) The hope of glory. Now go back. Let's, let's see if we can. Read that again. Uh huh. Yes. Amen. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. Now listen to that. Yes. The riches mm-hmm. 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 of the glory yes. of this mystery. Yes. Now he's gonna tell us what it is. Amen. It's Jesus Christ. It is Christ. <laughs> us, the whole glory. That's the mystery. The mystery is yes, Christ. Yes, it's Christ. Glory to Christ. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. You going the, the mystery <laughs> is Christ. That's so good, Pastor. And, and then he goes on to say what? Yes, Christ in you. In you. Yes, 
Hallelujah. What? The hope of glory. The hope of glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, my sir. God. Thank Hallelujah. You, so Hallelujah. it's not just the spirit of yes. God is in me, you, but it's God himself yes. that is in me. Christ in you. Amen. In so, me. so, so I know many times when we pray, uh, we never pray from within Thank you, Jesus. we never pray because we have been trained and we've been taught so often mm. amen that that uh christ is somewhere over there yes, uh, christ is somewhere out yonder so but god is in me he's in me he's i, in I me. god let your revelation you, let your divineness yes. let your word amen. let your authority yes. that you have placed in me work mm -hmm. for me right now Glory to god. what i need now right i now. needed to come Come from you yes, and if you. you have placed it in me mm -hmm. then I need the revelation yes. of you in me yes. to be revealed in my situation so praise God praise hallelujah god. I'm not praying to myself yes. amen I'm talking yes. to the God that is in me yes. glory to Thank God you, that's what we say that is what is we that say. what we say don't yes. we teach God in us the Holy teach. Spirit that's in us yes. if he's hallelujah. there when are you gonna start using him wow Glory when are you going to start using the God? So Thank when we pray, Jesus. we're not praying to an abstract. Yes. Uh, yes. A God that is situated somewhere on a mountain, a God somewhere, yes. uh, 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 you know, in heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God gave us his spirit yes. Thank you, and Jesus. his Holy Spirit is in us with God. Amen. Amen. And glory God blesses God. us. Amen. So the hope so of good. glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. That is in us Woo. as we talk about his Colossians. Yes. Christ in you. Yes. The hope of the glory. Hope of Amen. Glory. Praise God. Amen. Minister, if, if, before we run out of time, and we easily can do that. <laughs> yes. Amen. Praise God. About 10 minutes of there about, Amen. I believe, yes. my engineer. Thank you, Sister Renee, for working Hallelujah. with us this morning. Amen. Amen. But our phone number again is 313-365-7327 mm -hmm. or 313-365-7327. Mm -hmm. This is Pastor Robert Garner with Minister Rosetta Archer. And uh, before we go any further, yes. We talked about accuracy a few minutes ago, and I really believe that we need that right yes, now hallelujah. because what they're dealing with is something that has never been before. Yes. Uh, we need our lavatories. Yes. We need our scientists. Yes, we, do. we need our medical profession yes, to be accurate. Yes, accurate. If, if, if what Thank we you, need Jesus. is Hallelujah. a, a uh, uh, in, uh, what, penicillin or whatever yes. you call it, yes. amen, to, uh, for the people, we want it to work. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Glory so to God. we pray Hallelujah. for accuracy. Yes. We don't, you know, yes, we, we need, we, we, we want it to come to us as quick as we can get it. Yes. But we don't want you to overspeed right. and then miss it. Right. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. As I was listening to the news that there was one person that they had checked two or three times. And about the third or fourth time they mm. checked them, they found out they had the virus. Wow. We want wow. them to get it right the first Amen. time. Glory to God. Amen. Thank Praise Jesus. God. So I'm Hallelujah. asking God to work with our, oh yes. my God, to it. work with our scientists. That's it. Amen. To work with yes. our medical professions. Amen. That they will get it right the first time time yes. and that virus that thing that we need to conquer this virus that God mm -hmm. through this profession that he has given us yes. amen and all things are given to us that pertain to life yes. and Hallelujah. godliness Thank and you, scientists yes. as well as medical physicians are given to us for that pertains to That's life right. and God. So we glory want him to, to work for. Yes. So let's let's let, let's just pray. Amen. I want you to touch glory and agree to with us Hallelujah. right now. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise for this day. Thank you, it Jesus. It is the day that you have made, and we've come to rejoice and to be glad in it. And Father, yes. we just yes. give you glory, honor, and praise. Father, we thank you that all wisdom comes from you. Yes. All knowledge comes from you. All clarity comes from you. Yes. All revelation comes from you. Science comes thank from you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory thank to God. you, Jesus. And Father, we are calling on you right now. Oh, the hope of of glory glory to God Christ in us the hope of glory and father we speak life and we speak wisdom unto every medical professional in the name of Jesus oh God yes, every yes, scientist yes, in yes, the name yes. of Jesus oh God everyone that you've called and anointed and appointed oh God to hone in on this virus that's coming and anything connected yes, to it yes. in the name of Jesus oh God we pray right now for your wisdom in the name of Jesus and that it will just come because of our prayers oh God we cover 
right now the land oh god we yes, cover every yes, scientist yes, in the name yes. of jesus every medical laboratory in the name of jesus yes. oh god. every chemist in the name of jesus yes, oh god yes, that's yes. coming to put this together in the name of jesus father we thank and we praise you oh god that supernaturally the answer and the revelation will come to them in the name of jesus as they go against this strain and against this strain in the name of jesus oh god we thank you for the vaccines hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah to develop them oh god correct the first time, oh God, yes, maybe you've yes, not seen oh yes. God, any of the inoculations in the name of Jesus, any antibiotics, oh God, give them the rules to uh, engagement in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, 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 This yes. virus in the name of Jesus. And just like it came together, strain by strain, oh God, it's dismantled strain by strain in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we pray for accuracy in yes, the name of yes, Jesus, oh God, yes, as yes. the vaccines are perfected, oh God, as the, the information is disseminated among us in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you that we are even able to discern, oh God, yes. even supernaturally what's accurate and what's not in the name of Jesus. Which pill to take and which not, oh God. Yes, which vaccine yes, to yes, have yes. and which not in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we're asking, oh God, that you give hallelujah to these scientists. Hallelujah, these hallelujah, the hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. God, the exact formula thank you, in Jesus. the name of Jesus, oh God, that it can be reproduced in the name of Jesus and that it is distributed with without any malice, oh God, without any fraud, glory to God, without any hindrances yes, in yes, the name of yes. Jesus, it gets to the people and the places that need them in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you and we do praise you, oh God, for the wisdom of the president, oh God, all the leadership in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes. We rebuke the spirit of fear in our nation in the name of Jesus, yes, oh God, because yes, fear yes. has torment and we bind the spirit of fear yes. in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you and we do praise you that we are covered by the blood. We cover our nation by the blood. We lift up every family, every person that's been affected by this virus. It is demonic and we have have more power than the devil and we speak hallelujah that hallelujah you and desist on the borders of this earth and these shores of the united states in jesus and name jesus we, name. we reverse it now by the word of god we plead the blood of jesus yes. over us all in the name in of the jesus. name of jesus amen amen glory praise god, god. Hallelujah. listen my sisters and brothers you, there he is right there glory to god. amen we pray for Thank accuracy you. yes let the medical profession and Hallelujah. let scientists do yes. their job. Yes. And I believe that if we don't try to rush them and make this a yes. political issue, Amen. don't God. make my life hanging right. in the balance Amen. a political, a political issue. issue. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, people are dying. Yes. People are living in fear. Yes. People are, are coming back home and, and there's some uncertainty there. Yes. Don't make this a political issue. Don't allow others, yes. regardless what the candidates That's do. Right. Amen. Don't you allow Amen. their rhetoric. Yes. Amen to cause you to become political yes. and start throwing out accusation Amen. because the confusion yes. allows the enemy to work even That's further. Exactly right. You see, that God is not the author of confusion. He's not. He's and not. when we do that, my sisters and brothers, then we allow that God, through the, the, the wisdom that he has given, the Bible said, he that like wisdom, yes. let him ask let God him ask. who giveth liberally, yes. braideth not. Amen. And that's what we just pray pray for yes. right there. Hallelujah. So I believe that this too, you, amen, Jesus. God has never lost a battle. Never. Amen. God has never lost it. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and we are fighting you, uh, wars. Mm -hmm. This is a war. And these things will come amen. because we're living in the day yes. of fulfillment. Yes, we are. Amen. Yes, we are. Get in your Bible believing church. Yes. Amen. Start a relationship today, today. with Jesus Christ. Do it today. Praise God. Don't wait until you get perfected. Don't wait until you stop doing yes. this or stop uh, doing that. Yes. God will do that. Yes. He said, Amen. whosoever will, let, let them come. come. Let them come. I will. Yes. He has already put I in will. place. I will. Amen. He said, God so loved the world so loved. that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. We approach in Easter. We're praising the resurrection. Yes. But I want you to know right now that that 
that has already been done. Yes. The resurrection, the death, burial, and mm. resurrection of Jesus Christ Amen. is already in place already. for you. Already. Listen, my sisters and brothers, I want you to come and visit us here at the Word of yes. Truth. We're located at 7107 Rivard Avenue mm. in Warren, Michigan. Our zip is 48091. Yes, you can call us after I leave this telecast here. I'm going to the church for our 11 a.m. prayer. If you would like to have prayer, then give us a call at 586-754-967. You know why I pray? Because my prayers work. Yes, amen. amen. You know why I pray? Because I know I have a relationship yes, with God. Amen. You know why I pray? The third yes. reason? He heareth me. He hears Glory me. He to God. And me. when you know that he heareth yes. you, you have the petition. Have I challenge you today, you, if Jesus. you have a need in your life, to give me a call at 586-754-9673. Let us touch and agree. Yes. Come to visit us every Sunday morning at 1045 a.m. I guarantee you, you're going to hear a relevant yes, word yes, from the Lord. Now, I'm not trying to be a theologically correct. I'm trying to help you through your crisis. Help us, help us. I'm trying to get you yes. through your plan of attack Amen. from the enemy. I want you to live victoriously. Oh, I want yeah. you to have a miraculous life that you can live Thank every you, day. Jesus. Listen, Thank I want to, let me just talk about this just for a moment. I think I have about 30 seconds left. Sunless skies, Hallelujah. how to release the sorrow of grief. Now, so much is happening right yes. now Amen. in the world as it relates to grieving, mm. uh, sadness, and yeah. all these things. That the enemy, don't mm. let the enemy get a stronghold yes. on your life. Get this book, uh, Minister Rosetta Archer. You know her, an anointed woman of God. Tell us how we can get this book and how we can get in touch with you if we would like for you to come and speak to us. Amen. You can get it on Amazon.com. You can also go to my website, sunlessguys.com. And if you'd like to email me, you can email me, first name, Rosetta, dot, last name, Archer, at gmail.com. If you want to give me a call, text me, 248 346 3605. Again, that's Minister Rosetta Archer, Sunless Skies. And that phone number is what again? It's 248 248 346 346 3605. 05. Yes. Listen, my sisters and brothers, we salute. I thank God for this station, this yes. staff, and everyone that's Amen. worked to make us good on every Tuesday morning yes. or in our rebroadcast. If you would like to sow a seed into the ministry of the Word of Truth, then send all of your correspondence to the Word of Truth, 7107 Rivard Avenue. Warren, Michigan. Now just go to our social media page. The truth will make you free. And right there, you have an app called Giblify. Make your donations. Stay, keep us strong and strengthen us in this time of this season in the year. Listen, my sisters and brothers, until we catch you again on next Tuesday morning at 7 a.m., keep looking up to Jesus who is the author and finish of your faith. And remember that the truth will make you free.